Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will learn about the operator that is known as audit operator. So this is also one of the filtering category operator. Now let's try to see the definition. So here if you try to read the definition, ignores source values for a duration determined by an another observable. So that means whatever the values that are coming from the source observable, so those all values will be ignored for a specific duration. That means for a specific time, that time will be dis determined by an another observable. So that is the definition they are telling. Ignore the source value, the whatever the values that are coming from the source for a duration determined by an another observable. Then emits the most recent value from the source observable. So that means after the duration has been finished, then it will emit the most recent value. So it will not emit the all the values that has been emitted before. So it will emit only the recent value that has been, what I can say, so that has been emitted by the source observable. Then repeats this process again. So they repeat this process means again it will ignore the values for a specific duration. And again it will, uh, when the duration is completed, it will uh, emit the recent emitted value by the source observable. So that is the definition for the audit. So little bit of uh, confusing or something like little bit of complex like that is it but it is not that much of complex it is a simple straightforward only so now, now let's try to see here so the audit here that parameters for this one is a duration selector so duration selector means the name uh, how much time it has to ignore the values so here it, it is an observable so duration selector a function that receives a value from the source observable so here duration selector is nothing but it's a fact it's a it's a function it receives the value whatever the values are emitted it will receive the value from the source observable for computing the silencing duration. Silencing duration means, so it need to remain silent. So no, no need to emit the values, whatever the values are emitting from the source observable. So no need to emit, maintain silence without emitting to the output observable. Written as an observable or a promise. So written value is the observable. And here if you try to see, uh, it is like audit time. So audit time is also one type of thing. So we will try to see. Here if you see, here this is the source observable emitting the data and here if you try to see here another intermediate observable is there so it is going on uh, so running the timer and it has completed here okay it has completed here immediately it has completed when it is completed it will take the most recent value so when this duration is completed it will take the most recent value and that value will be display and emitted as an output as an output here in the same scenario, the same duration will repeat like this, the x will come and here also the x will come. So this is the marble diagram actually. So here you will be running, here in the intermediate observable, it will be running a duration when this is completed, when this the observable is completed, then one value will be displayed outside. Okay, you need to understand this one. So now, so the same thing. So your audit is similar to throttle, throttle also we will try to discuss. So you need to understand about this one. So let's try to see the practical representation how we can implement this audit I will try to show you so let's try to create here ngGC pages slash audit operator okay I am creating an audit let's go to the operators html and here I will be adding an audit audit okay audit so now audit I will show you clear uh, uh, so output how it will be so so normally we will not use uh, most of the time these all the operators but you it's it's better to know about these all things so that you will become perfect audit operators whether it is created or not I don't know so let's try to see so it yeah it is created audit operator right audit operator audit operator audit operator why it is not creating audit operator component right so let's close it and again open it let's try to close it and again i will try to open this one audit operator component it has to come yeah now it came so here let's go to the audit operator component and here let's assume that i am having an interval so which will be emitting value of 1000 okay so let's subscribe to this one data so i am doing the console.log data so now i want to 
I want to add audit here. So what is the audit I want to do? So here I will be using pipe of so pipe of audit. So here this is the audit and now this audit has it will get each time the value okay so here we need to return an duration so i need to run 2000 okay so this is the audit so here i am returning an observable so when this observable will emit the data for every 2 seconds now here what will happen is so let's assume that first interval will emit value of 0 okay 0 will be taken by the audit so the zero will be taken by the audit operator so when this zero is taken by the audit operator so it runs the interval inside the audit so it runs the interval means this interval okay so now when this interval is run so it need to run for the two two seconds for every two seconds it will emit a data so now in between this one so zero has been emitted and now it is running right so one and it is emitting the one and two okay so 1 and 2 are also emitted. Now interval is completed. Okay. Now interval will limit the data. So what is the recent value? So where, what is this interval has emitted? So it has emitted the 2. So then, uh, then the output will be here. Output will be 2. Okay. Output will display 2. Now again another value 3, 3 will be emitted by the source, inter source interval. So 2 has been printed. Right? 3 will be emitted and this one will be taken by the audit. Again this, this will run the interval. Okay. So this will run the interval up to 2000, 2 seconds. Uh, this will run the interval. So for every 2 seconds, it will emit the data. So now if, if it emit the data, so what could be the output here? So uh, 2 seconds means 4 and 5, 5 will be emitted. And when this interval emits the data, what is the recent value emitted? 5. So that is the thing. So now next 6 will be taken as 6, 6 is emitted. So 6 will be taken by the audit. And again, it runs the interval of 2 seconds. Okay. It, again, it will run the interval of 2 seconds. So when it runs the interval of 2 seconds, again 6 is emitted, right? 7 and 8. So 7 and 8, 2 seconds. After 2 seconds means already 2 values will be emitted by the first interval, source observable. 7 and 8. After this interval emits the data, what is the recent value emitted? 8. So this is the output. So like this, it will go on emit the data. Let us try to see the output, how this output will look like. If I go here and if I go to the RxJS observable, so now let us go to the inspect element and I will try to refresh this page. Okay, if I try to refresh this page, console, let us go to the console and here I am going to the, sorry, so let us take something like distinct, okay, I am in the distinct, so let us refresh this one and I am clicking on the audit. So when this audit runs, first output it should come to then it should the output should come 5 then the output should, co should come output should come 8 then 9 10 11 11 is the output so like this the out output will come so hope you understood about this one so it's a simple only so whatever the first value you are getting by the interval it it will be taken by the audit okay it will be taken by the audit it will not be printed to the output as well so the using that value it will try to start the interval so when this interval starts so after 2 seconds this interval will limit the data. So between this one this interval already has released 1 and 2. So when this interval limits the data what is the recent value released by the interval is 2. So that is the reason it is it is sending that value only. So this is nothing but the audit. Hope you understood about this audit operator. Little bit of confusion will be there but no need of confusion. So whatever the so you need to remember one thing is whatever the value is taken by the uh, taken by the audit operator will not be printed in the output observable. So the after after completion of this interval, so after the emitting of this interval, so what is the recent value emitted? That value only will be emitted to the output. So that is the only thing you need to understand. I hope you understand about this audit operator. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.